Hello, folks. Keith Henry here with the head coach of the reigning MEAC softball champion, Morgan State University Lady Bears, Larry Heinlein. First coach, congratulations. Um, Thank you, Keith. Tell me about the weekend and how you all got about to this position. Yes. You were talking about the most stressful weekend I've had in a long time? No, no I'm just kidding. It was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we played uh, a couple of nip and tuck games. Even the last game, the score was, you know, 10 to 5, but we were losing, uh, you know, well into the game, I think 4 to 3, and so we pulled it out. But, um, we played hard, we played smart, we did some really, we made the plays, and um, that's what champions do. You, you make the plays that need to be made at the, at the crucial time. So I'm real proud of the girls. Um, talk about making the plays at the crucial time offensively, Melissa Pies. Y'all were down 2 nothing, and. It's a three run homer. Huge coach. Talk about her. Well, um, Melissa. I mean, you know, she's a she's a sophomore, but she, you know, she we we missed last year. I mean, most of last year, I guess, and we didn't have a you know a fall thing. So she's still relatively new to us, you know. But she's always had a competitive swing and, and attacks the ball, and she's got a real good demeanor about her, real real you know uh, aggressive at the plate. So you know, this was bound to happen. She was bound to get uh, you know get hot at some point, and I'm glad she did. Um, Coach, you, you you said when we talked that Coppin pitching was the key, and yeah, darn it, it will. It, it, it was, was and, but it wasn't like a one dominant pitcher. I mean, in in the first game we had uh, um, Steph, you know, Steph pitched, and we had a reliever with Mel, and then in the second game Mickey pitched, and we had a reliever with Steph, and then we, you know, Mickey pitched the next game, and we had a reliever with with, with Steph, I believe. So, oh no, with Mel and then Steph. So we, we used our pitchers. We used uh, three pitchers, uh, and uh, it worked out for us. We're, we're pretty deep in that area, I believe. And offensively, uh, Ebbers and uh, Bobos. Right. Like and, every everybody. Well, you forget. Don't forget Aaliyah Yule. Oh, definitely. She stepped up big, and uh, she's a good hitter, real good hitter. Uh, started out a little slow, but ended up where she should be. Uh, you know, with the kind of talent she has. Coach. You all draw the number one seed Oklahoma Sooners Great. in Norman. Um, I, I know I know you've seen them throughout throughout the season, most most yeah, of the seasons. I, um, talk about having to go to Norman and well, well now it's going to be fantastic. Um, yeah, they're the best team in the country. So you know, but there are a lot of good teams in the country. Whoever we were going to draw was going to be very very good. So why not the best? I mean, I'm not going to go say I want the number ten seed. I mean, you know, if if, if that's who we got to play, that's who we got to play, and uh, you know, certainly we, uh, you know, we got to play excellent, uh, you know, to have any kind of chance. But hey, we'll, we'll be there. We'll, we'll, we'll show them what we can do. But what what could be done for y'all to shock the world and <laughs> do some serious damage? Don't like the Muhammad Ali, I shock the world. I love it. That's one of my favorite lines. Well, um, we 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 can't get behind early. If we if we keep them. Uh, you know, off the board for a couple innings, then, then then things start to get rattly, and you know they get rattled a little bit. If they come out and get a couple runs early, then you know it's going to be very very difficult, especially the pitching they have. But if you keep it tight, keep stay in the game real long, you know, for a long time, then all of a sudden then, then things can go your way, and that's got to be the way we do it. I mean, you know, they're, they're number one for a reason, and you know they they do a lot of things well, and you just got to disrupt that whole you know machine that they have. Going. So we'll see, we'll, we'll we'll give it a shot. Um, the Miak has done Miak has done some damage in this tournament in in recent years, and the best has been but then Cookman heading to the super regionals, um, showing it can be done. Yeah, it can be done, and uh, you know it's a tall tall order. But hey, you know it's such such an honor to be you know in this game and, and, and I'm talk, in the tournament number one, and in this game against the number one seed, and you know I think it's great for Morgan State. And we're going to give uh, Oklahoma as much as we can give them, and, and hopefully it's uh, more than they can handle. It's na- it's national TV. Everybody gets to see y'all, and yeah. that has to be good for Morgan, Morgan State, State and for recruiting. For recruiting. Definitely. Yeah, I, I think so. And if we put on a good performance, and, and which could be a win, uh, if we put on a good performance, uh, that will be good for the program and good for uh, good for our league, good for the MEAC, you know, good for Morgan State, and they'll get to know us. That's head coach Larry Heinlein of the now reigning MEAC softball champion Morgan State Lady Bears. Coach Heinlein, hopefully next time we talk, we talk about y'all making some noise. I hope so, Keith. Stay in touch. Yes, sir.